Welcome friends, this video have the complete demonstration how you can migrate your website from HTTP to HTTPS. Why we do that? Some people face the problem in JWT authentication while making an Android application from WordPress website. Some people want to secure their uh, website if that is e-commerce for the purchasing and uh, to build a customer trust and many other points which you can see in the screen. Now uh, let's get started log into your cPanel and uh, come to the section of SSL. Click on it and uh, now uh, create on the first option generate private key. Now friends, uh, do not make any mistake because it's very critical, otherwise uh, you will uh, get into the complicated situation. Now choose the size uh, which is recommended to 048 bits and uh, add a description. In the description you can mention your website name. Now click on generate. Now we have uh, the private key which you can see on the screen and it is in both the format encode and decode private key. Now for that what we will do is uh, we will copy this encoded format of private key. This is our first step and the second step is to uh, generate the CSR. CSR is certificate signing request uh, which uh, we will paste on the uh, manage section. This is the cPanel section and, and that is the manage section. Uh, fill this information, your city, state. Yeah, this is India here it is and the company name and the company division which is optional and email is also optional description as well so let me enter my email address right leave it now again we will copy the encoded format of the CSR and we will go to the manage section Now uh, in this section you will find one option with issue certificate under SSL certificate. Click on it. And paste your CSR which was in the encoded format and click on next button. Now from here you have to choose uh, one of your email address in which you will get the verification code from Komodo company. HostGator has a type with Komodo and if you don't have you can also provide a gmail address or any other website but it must relate with your company name otherwise the verification will not complete. I suggest you uh, to provide an email uh, which have your domain name at last so you can customize uh, with uh, the free email address which you can create now login the same email address now here I got the verification email this is my validation code copy the validation code and come back to the third step of SSL Now before doing that uh, we have to visit the website of Komodo and we will paste this validation code 
and we will verify our certificate. In the meantime, let me tell you, uh, SSL is free for three months. You can visit the website, you can get that. Otherwise, you can choose the host getter hosting, which is uh, giving one year SSL free for all users uh, who are taking the business plan. Now friends, we have to again wait uh, for the email address uh, which oh, we got it. So here we have uh, the certificate in encoded format. We have to copy this. And now we will move to the C panel and uh, on the third step. There are four simple is steps which you can follow to migrate your website to HTTPS and this is one of that. This is the empty email. Now coming back to CRT. Oh, this is also an important step. Uh, on the top of the field, we will paste the certificate which we got on email from Komodo and the description will be same, the domain name, save certificate. Now uh, again coming back uh, to the fourth step which is the final one and after that we will do the configuration on the website. Now here uh, you can see friends, uh, you can choose the domain and uh, everything will be autofill. Click or fill by domain and you do not have to provide any information here or the install certificate click on it now the installation has been successfully completed click ok button now we are done with this uh, now the next step will be to uh, redirect our uh, home URL and site URL to HTTPS and uh, some changes in the .htaccess file. This video is for uh, the WordPress website and uh, uh, with the C panel. Now coming to the root directory of your dashboard, choose the domain name and the htaccess file. I have already generated the code for this. You can simply copy and paste it, copy and paste it and uh, the four lines you can see i have uh, uh, written with hash the rewrite engine on and these four lines these are only necessary which you can simply copy and paste on your htaccess file at the last and remove the hash after installing the certificate we will remove this This is only a three lines code is required. Now save the changes. And now oh, one another step will be come to the oh, databases section. Uh, open PHP my admin. Now here you will have the complete list of the databases, uh, the number of websites I have. I have more than 50 websites, but uh, on WP config file, you can find the name of the database. So I remember it is WP394. Click on the database and open the WP options table. Now here, uh, which we talked about before also, the home URL and the site URL, we will just put S after HTTP and we will save the changes. And the rest of the things will go automatically. we are done with the changes which was required to migrate your website and uh, now we are done with all the things let's open the URL again this is my uh, website now let's check first uh, by HTTP now you can see the change it already redirected to HTTPS automatically 
and not only the home page if i will click on any page or any product uh, it will also migrate automatically to https now this was all this video was about and uh, there are many other videos which will be helpful uh, for creating the android application from wordpress website etc thanks for watching my video and uh, if you like my video then please uh, subscribe my channel 